overview and objectives. Children, each one of you would have noticed that infants are always fascinated by the antics of the baby in the mirror. But how many of you know about mirror images? Let's make an effort to learn about the formation of images with various types of mirrors and lens from Miss Mirror. Baby, something seems to trouble you. What is disturbing you, my darling? Yesterday we went to Ramoji Film City. There I saw a room which was surrounded by mirrors. Each mirror gave a different image of the person standing in front of it. Oh, my mirror on the wall. Can you please explain to me the magic behind those mirrors? I'll surely tell you, as you are my best buddy. There is no magic behind it. Just listen to what I say. You will understand the formula. So, let's not waste time. I have to be free before your mom comes for dressing. Let's start. Are you ready, my little angel? Yes. Lens A transparent material bound by two surfaces, of which one or both surfaces are spherical, forms a lens. This means that a lens is bound by at least one spherical surface. In such lenses, the other surface would be plain. A lens is made by combining at least one part of sphere made of transparent material, generally glass. Spherical lens Most of the lenses are made by the combination of parts of transparent sphere. Concave and convex lens are most commonly used spherical lens. Convex lens Lens having two spherical surface bulging outwards is called convex lens. It is also known as double convex lens because of two spherical surface bulging outwards or is simply called a convex lens. It is thicker at the middle as compared to the edges. Convex lenses converge the light and hence are called the converging lenses. Concave lens Lens having two spherical surface bulging inwards is called concave lens. It is also known as double concave lens because of the two spherical surface bulging inwards. It is thicker at the edges than at the middle. Concave lens diverge at the light incident on it. Hence, call the diverging lens. A double concave lens is simply called a concave lens. Important terms for spherical lens. Center of curvature The center of sphere of part of which a lens is formed is called the center of curvature of the lens. Since concave and convex lenses are formed by the combination of two parts of spheres, therefore they have two centers of curvature. One center of curvature is usually denoted by C1 and second is denoted by C2. Focus Point at which parallel rays of light converge in a concave lens and parallel rays of light diverge from the point is called focus or principal focus of the lens. Similar to centers of curvature, convex and concave lens have two foci. These are represented as F1 and F2. If a light ray parallel to the principal axis passing through the lens passes for a convex lens or appears to pass for a concave lens through the focus, it is called second principal focus. If the light ray passing through the focus for a convex lens or directed towards the focus for a concave lens after refraction through the lens passes parallel to the principal axis, the focus is the first principal focus. Principal axis Imaginary line that passes through the centers of curvature of a lens is called principal focus. Optical center The central point of a lens is called its optical center. A ray passes through optical center of a lens without any deviation. Radius of curvature 
the distance between optical center and center of curvature is called the radius of curvature, which is generally denoted by R. Focal length The distance between optical center and principal focus is called focal length of a lens. Focal length of a lens is half of the radius of curvature. That is, 2F is equal to R, or F is equal to R by 2. This is the cause that the center of curvature is generally denoted by 2F for a lens instead of C. Formation of image by convex lens There are six possibilities of position of object in the case of convex lens. A. Object at infinity Convex lens converge parallel rays coming from object at infinity and a highly diminished, point-sized, real and inverted image is formed at principal focus F2. Position of image At F2 Nature of image Real and inverted Size of image Point-sized Highly diminished. B. Object beyond center of curvature, C1 or 2F1. A diminished, real and inverted image is formed between principal focus F2 and center of curvature C2 at the opposite side when an object is placed beyond C1 of a convex lens. Position of image Between 2F2 and F2 Nature of image Real and inverted Size of image Diminished C. Object at center of curvature C1 or 2F1 A seam-sized, real and inverted image is formed at center of curvature C2 when object is placed at center of curvature C1 of a convex lens. Position of image at 2F2 Nature of image Real and inverted Size of image Same sized D. Object between center of curvature C1 and principal focus F1 An enlarged, real and inverted image is formed beyond center of curvature C2 when an object is placed between center of curvature C1 and principal focus F1 of a convex lens. Position of image Beyond 2 F2 Nature of image Real and inverted Size of image Enlarged E. Object at principal focus F1 an infinitely large, real and inverted image is formed at infinity when object is placed at principal focus F1 of a convex lens. Position of image At infinity Nature of image Real and inverted Size of image Highly enlarged F. Between principal focus F1 and optical center O. A virtual, erect and enlarged image is formed at the same side of lens when an object is placed between principal focus F1 and optical center O of a convex lens. Position of image Beyond 2 F1 Nature of image Virtual and erect Size of image Enlarged Image formation by concave lens There are only two possibilities of position of object in the case of a concave lens. A. Object is at infinity. B. Object is between optical center O and infinity. A. Object is at infinity. A highly diminished point-sized virtual and erect image is formed when object is at infinity by a concave lens at principal focus F1. Position of image 
at F1. Nature of image. Virtual and direct. Size of image. Point sized. Highly diminished. B. Object is between optical center O and infinity. A diminished virtual and erect image is formed between principal focus F1 and optical center O when object is placed between optical center and infinity of a concave lens. Position of image Between F1 and O Nature of image Virtual and direct Size of image Diminished Lens formula and magnification Lens formula The relation between distance of object, distance of image and focal length. V is distance of image. U is distance of object. F is focal length. It is given as 1 upon V minus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. Magnification the ratio of height of image and that of object or ratio of distance of image and distance of object. It is generally denoted by M. Magnification M. Distance of image upon distance of object that is equal to V upon U. Power of a lens. The reciprocal of its focal length P is equal to 1 upon F. SI unit Diopter, that is D. Malfunctions of eyes. The power of accommodation of eye usually decreases with aging. For most people, the near point gradually recedes away. They find it difficult to see nearby objects comfortably and distinctly without corrective eye glasses. This defect is called presbyopia. It arises due to the gradual weakening of the ciliary muscles and diminishing flexibility of the eye lens. Sometimes a person may suffer from both myopia and hypermetropia. Such people often require bifocal lenses. A common type of bifocal lenses consists of both concave and convex lenses. The upper portion consists of a concave lens. It facilitates distant vision. The lower part is a convex lens. It facilitates near vision. Summary That's all, my dear. Have you understood the trick now? Yes, my friend. All my doubts are cleared. Thank you. So, children, we have come to an end of this topic on lens and mirrors. Summary In this module, we have learnt about Formation of image by concave mirror and convex mirror Formation of image by concave and convex lens Problems of the eyes